Estonians are a Finnic people native to the northeastern shores of the Baltic Sea, primarily inhabiting modern-day Estonia. The Estonian language, Eesti Kiel, belongs to the Finnic branch of the Uralic family, closely related to Finnish and more distantly to Hungarian. It is not Indo-European, which sets it apart from the languages of most neighboring peoples. Throughout history, Estonia has stood at a cultural crossroads between East and West. Beginning in the medieval period, the region fell under Germanic influence, especially through the Teutonic Order and later Baltic German nobility, who dominated politics, trade, and the upper classes for centuries. German served as the language of administration and education well into the 19th century, profoundly influencing Estonian vocabulary and culture. For this video, I've prepared the raw genomes of 10 ethnic Estonians from Reichlabs.ho dataset. I used Kpadam to analyze the genetics of these samples. A Mesolithic Kpadam breakdown reveals that the dominant component in these Estonians is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component, which comprises almost 34% of their ancestry. They have sizable West Asian admixture they got through steppe people and a fairly high portion of European hunter-gatherer ancestry. Estonians are known as one of the European populations with the highest hunter-gatherer ancestry. The share of Uralic or Neo-Siberian ancestry is minuscule. A Bronze Age Kpata model on Estonians finds over half-steppe ancestry, together with around 33% globular amphora ancestry, 8% excess Baltic hunter-gatherer, and 4% Neo-Siberian ancestry associated with Uralic speakers. I made another Kpata model to determine the recent ancestry of Estonians. Essentially, they can be broken down into three sources of ancestry, Bronze Age Balts, Germanics, and Neo-Siberians. According to this model, 59% of Estonian ancestry comes from Bronze Age Balts, 39% comes from Germanics, and 2% comes from Neo-Siberians. According to FST analysis of Estonians, they fall firmly in the Eastern European cluster, being particularly close to Russians, Belarusians, Ukrainians, and Czechs. Their distance from Finns is quite interesting, as Finns are their closest linguistic relatives, yet it seems are genetically quite distinct. I also ran these samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here is the average predicted phenotype. The most common Y lineage among these samples was N1A1, a lineage associated with the spread of Neo-Siberian ancestry and Uralic language. The phenotype distribution was typical of Eastern Europe, with Nordid, Alpinid, and even Mediterranean types present. Eye colors ranged from blue to medium brown, but the majority of samples had light eyes. Hair colors ranged from dark blonde to black. The majority of samples were predicted to have curly hair texture, and no sample scored kinky hair. The majority of samples scored Greek as their predicted nose shape. Odds of baldness were very high, as is expected for Europeans. Empathy predisposition was typical for Europeans, Autism predisposition was for the most part average, and surprisingly not a single sample carried hemochromatosis risk variants in HFE. Hemochromatosis is most common in Northwestern Europe. It is likely that every sample I have gathered was lactase persistent. The Estonians had very low odds of allergies, and for the most part had low odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. The Estonians had high odds of Alzheimer's, low odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and average odds of bipolar disorder type 2. The SNPS that go into the polygenic score for bipolar type 1 overlap with schizophrenia, while those that go into bipolar disorder type 2 overlap with major depressive disorder. The Estonians had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, low odds of type 2 diabetes, mostly low predicted levels of glucose, which is good, and low odds of syncope. The Estonians had an average predisposition to atrial fibrillation, average predisposition to cardiovascular issues, high levels of bad LDL cholesterol, and low levels of good HDL cholesterol. The majority of these samples carried no risk variants for polycythemia vera in J, A, K2 gene, and every single sample carried testicular cancer risk variants in KITLG gene. This is quite typical for Europeans. The majority of samples also carried blue-yellow colorblindness risk variants in OPN1SW. The most common predicted blood type among these samples is A. It is likely that no sample had the AB blood type, although there isn't sufficient data in the files to determine that precisely. You can purchase their raw genomes in 23 and me format from the link in description of this video. In the description, you will also find links to my products and services.